The Museum Roadshow is brought to you by 125 Apparel. Hello, I'm Jen Johnson and I work at the Becker County Museum as the research director and today I am sitting here with Fred Flown, who is a regular in the research library. And Fred, why don't you talk to us about how you got interested in resorts along the lake area? Well, thank you, Jen. Uh, it started out with doing a little genealogy research and visiting with my mother and uh, found out that uh, the early resort business was pretty much dominated by my great-grandparents here in town and so as I started doing more research and digging into this uh, locating photographs and uh, information from my family and uh, it turned out that there's a lot of interesting things here along the lakeshore that uh, go way back in Detroit Lakes history and so uh, I've had a lot of fun over the years just uh, researching uh, basically the history of the Lakeside Hotel, Lakeside Lodge, uh, the boat docks at the foot of Washington Avenue, and uh, also the Park Hotel, the Park Hotel Cafe, the Park Cabins, uh, somewhat in the pavilion, uh, the water slide, all of those uh, buildings and activities and stuff that took place along the lakeshore uh, beginning at least with my family in 1884 and uh, continuing up until uh, my grandparents basically sold off all the businesses down there about 1945. So they were very active uh, down there for a long time. Um, my uh, great-grandfather August Getling and his wife Wilhelmina uh, moved to Detroit Lakes in 1884 and he purchased what is uh, known, what I found out to be called the Pioneer Resort at the foot of Lake Avenue. Uh, I've been able to find out no information about who had the Pioneer Resort or who uh, who owned it or any of that information yet. Uh, maybe sometime I'll be able to locate that but at the time uh, he operated a a boat business in in the 1880s people didn't own their own boats and people generally didn't live along the lake and so uh, they would come down to the lake for uh, for an afternoon and they would rent boats to go fishing and so in fact in some of the newspaper articles uh, he's re referred to as August Getling the popular boatman of Detroit and so he would uh, he would rent these boats out uh, to people and then in 1891, he uh, constructed uh, the Lakeside Hotel at the foot of Washington Avenue and Lake Avenue, well, not, uh, not Washington Avenue, Lake Boulevard and Lake Avenue, and uh, added on to it in 1893 and 1896, um, and the, the at the when it first opened the lakeside was a dance hall on the lower floor and he operated this dance hall until the pavilion was built in 1915 and then after that um, that uh, yeah. that part of the business ceased to be yeah. and he rented out small sleeping apartments and uh, they uh, he ran that business until his death in 1924 and then uh, his wife continued the operation of it until 1929 when it was taken over by their daughter and son-in-law Wilhelmina and Fred Wise and uh, so and they ran it until they, they sold it in 1945 so the lakeside uh, was also the first set of cabins along the lake down there they built I think in 1929 uh, 28 or 29 they built the first set of cabins and eventually expanded that and so this business operated they, they even had a barn in the back where they kept cows and 
also served dinners for their hotel guests in the early years down there at Lakeside. And then um, moving over to the east there, uh, there was a, a hotel built on the corner there. It was known as the Park Hotel. It was built by a man named W.D. Wise sometime in the around 1900. And uh, my other great grandfather, Fred Wise Sr., uh, was a farmer in Lakeview Township and he moved from Lakeview to uh, into town about 1912 and bought the Park Hotel and operated that hotel and his son Fred Wise Jr. who just by chance had married August Gettling's daughter so uh, those two families were connected at the lakeshore and Fred Wise Jr. opened up a boat dock also at the foot of Washington Avenue there, right across from the Park Hotel in conjunction with his father's hotel, the Park Hotel. Well, the first Park Hotel burned down in 1916, in February of 1916, four days before my mother was born. That hotel was rebuilt and for years it was known as the New Park Hotel. And local residents will recognize it uh, from later years as it eventually turned into the Elks Club. And prior to the Elks uh, moving out of there and be before its demolition in the 1970s. But uh, so that whole corner was basically a, a resort area. And um, at the time, the city did not have a public swimming beach. All of the uh, water toys and the uh, slides and things like that were furnished by my gra grandfather, Fred Wise Jr. Uh, to promote his uh, boat business along the lake. And so people would come down and rent boats and then they would go swimming. And uh, most people didn't own their own swimming suits at the time. And so uh, he rented bathing suits at the bathhouse right at the foot of Washington Avenue there. The huge water slide that, were, that he had put up there, you may be seeing pictures of it, but that water slide uh, had metal tracks and had little carts on it with wheels that fit on the tracks and people would sit on these carts and go down shooting out into the water and uh, all you have to do is look at the construction of that water slide and you can probably see why the liability issues forced its uh, abandonment because um, but uh, it was uh, it was quite a tourist attraction at the time and uh, of course along the lake shore there was a, at that same location where the bathhouse was, was at one time the, uh, the ticket office for the Pelican River uh, Navigation Company run by John K. West. And uh, at one time the last few years of the operation of the Pelican River uh, Navigation Company, my grandfather had charge of that because uh, it, um, with the advent of the automobile, that was, it was not a very profitable business at the time. And so uh, Mr. West, John K. West, uh, had my grandfather run it the last couple of years that it was, I think like 1918 was the last year that it was operated. So uh, anyway, all through the years, uh, this information and, uh, you know, my, my great-grandparents were so involved with that early uh, resort industry down there along the lake that it's been it's been a lot of fun just trying to uh, you know put the pieces of this puzzle together and find out where uh, where where everybody was located and their houses and how many years the Lakeside Lodge has had many many it has many owners over the years um, there for a while it changed owners fairly frequently but. Uh, for the few, first few years, it was operated, you know, mainly by, well, from 18, the, the there is a, I even have a picture someplace of uh, where it says on the side of the hotel, it's difficult to read, but it says August Getling's Lakeside Hotel. It's really been a, a fun project uh, to research this, and um, the nice part about this kind of research is it never seems to end, and you always just seem to be able to fight, keep, uh, one thing leads to another, and so uh, yeah. 
that's uh, it's it's been a lot of fun doing this, and so hopefully um, other people will be interested in it a little bit also. So. Yeah. Well, thank you, Fred. Thank you for joining us and. Fred is just a wonderful example of the kind of stories that come to the research library at the Becker County Museum and you yourself can come and share your own stories. Um, and maybe you'll run into Fred one day. He is here quite regularly and we enjoy seeing that. We are open Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 4. Come in anytime. It's $5 for admission unless you're a member and kids are always free. Thank you for watching this episode of the Museum Roadshow, brought to you by 125 Apparel.